Hey all, this is Mike from the Visible Team. We're excited to show you our new variance reporting that we just rolled out. To get started, all you have to do is navigate over to your data section. And what you'll see here quickly is that I have a budget and forecast coming in and I have some actuals. Uh, but going back, if I search for, let's just say, sales KPI, and I click on that metric, you'll see that we have uh, kind of our data that we've always had in that great insights layer uh, link below for that video. But going to variance report, uh, I can select any metric that's a budget or forecast and can compare it to uh, my sales KPIs. So I'm going to select KPI 1 here. Uh, and then we also let you pick uh, your fiscal year end. So if you have a non-traditional fiscal year end, you can make that selection here. For the sake of this demo, I'm just going to say January. And then we're going to populate uh, eight additional metrics that will automatically calculate for you. Things like month-to-date variances and the absolutes, uh, percentages, what about prior year, year-to-date, uh, variances for those, in addition to kind of just where you are year-to-date. So uh, when you click Save here, you'll see that I have that entire variance report that was just created in a couple seconds uh, with all of those metrics here that you can see. And you can use these in any of your visible charts, your updates, dashboards, uh, etc. So when I go back here, I'm going to uh, go over and select my budget and actual dashboard that I had created before this. And this is, again, where you can select, search all of those different APIs and bring those in. So I can scroll down and see my different variance report metrics here. And I'm just going to select the month to date variance percent. And then, again, you can add in as many metrics here. So I'm going to add in uh, some more metrics to my variance report. And I want to show the absolute number in addition to the variance. And just like before, when you click into any of these metrics, uh, you can select down and change things to the colors, but maybe for the percent, I want to chart that on a separate axis. So now I have uh, kind of in line my uh, percentage change in addition to the absolute number. Here I'm just going to uh, create a different uh, color for the variance, and then I might want to make a dashed line for this. Uh, that's something new as well. So just select the dashed line and, and click Save. Now you can see that I added that. I'm going to go and, and just create one more pretty quickly here and bring in some more. So I'm going to do my year-to-date uh, metric. So this is my kind of cumulative sales year-to-date for my particular uh, fiscal year. And then I will also add in um, my prior year year-to-date. So where am I comparing myself this year to the year prior? Uh, and again, I might make some quick color changes here. Uh, and we also have this new opacity slider so I can create a little bit more of a transparent color for the previous year. And then I only want to chart this uh, maybe the current calendar year. So by selecting that, you can see uh, my January to May uh, year to date for this particular uh, chart. And I could also add in more uh, metrics here. So I can add in the variance as well. And same thing, I might want to chart that on a separate axis. You can see my percentage. Um, in terms of where I was from this year to the prior year. Uh, and that's great. Uh, we have those both set up. I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to check out our support article for anything else that we can help with.